This week we had some extremely cold temperatures with snow and icy rain and we lost our power and water for a little bit. We had a tree that fell on the studio so Jod had to clean that one up and while he did that I started to reset our home. I had to tidy up and I did some grocery shopping, cleaning, lots of gluten and dairy free cooking and many more. Stay until the end to see them all. I know man passing by life is good best I've ever felt. We are done with the first part of the storm and we got our power and water back. But there's more freezing temperatures on the way with some icy rain. I wanna prepare some food that we can just put into the refrigerator and we don't have to warm it up. These recipes are kind of nostalgic because this is what we used to eat in Hungary around the holidays and around the New Year's Eve. There are no rules what you want to put in there. I cooked some organic hot dogs and I just added a few kinds of vegetables. That man is trouble, best and it down, I know I might be headed for teardrops. Today, Jot is going to clean up the tree that is fall on the studio. But first, a quick tidy up and I'm going to continue to prepare the breakfast. You can find this recipe up on my website. It is gluten-free and dairy-free and it's very easy to make and it keeps our stomach full. As all of us got stuck at home, we actually just extended the holiday season. There are so many reasons why we felt so lucky the way the tree fell on the studio because it didn't do any damage and it's all the position of the tree and how strong Jod built this studio but Jod just had to redirect the falling of the tree but otherwise we were able to get away with no damage going to do a reset for today I have to do a bunch of laundry I want to cook some food especially we have more ice on the way so I want to prepare some food just in case if the power goes out we have something to reach for I'm gonna have to do some tidy up and some dusting as well as we using the fireplace and also we have to go to the store so i will have a grocery haul as well in this video and also i'm going to share that with you how i'm going to use all those food and what i'm going to create from that but 
before all of that I'm going to start the bread and today I'm going to designate the day <laughs> and bake more bread so we can put it into the freezer and also I have some dehydrating project on the list as we were preparing for these freezing temperatures I had to harvest everything that I find in my garden and one of them was the celery it was doing so well it was so happy but I had to harvest them all I have to create some recipes today where I can use up most of them and the rest I will just dehydrate them Starting with washing the laundry that piled up while we didn't have running water And since we get more sunshine with this cold weather I started to seeing more dust that I didn't see before I thought it was fairly clean but <laughs> uh, the dirt had shadow when the sun came up so I started to clean a little bit here and there To say nothing motivated me more than the fact that the, the power can go out again so I tried to, to get done as much as possible we have a well and if the power goes out then it doesn't pump any water so once the power was back I just sprung into action <laughs> Oatmeal is one of our favorite dish and it's something I can just reach for even if I don't have any electricity I don't have to warm it up and lately I like to put an extra cream into it so once I cooked the oatmeal I just add a can of coconut cream or oat cream and it just makes it very nice and smooth texture and then just extra flavor and for next I'm going to make the lunch it's a very simple it's a potato stew with a lots of uh, celery that I have from the garden and I added some bay leaf as well and once they are halfway cooked I'm going to add some chicken broth with some corn starch and that will make it more thick and on the end I like to add some yogurt as well as you will see it makes it even more creamy This is a very typical lunch from Hungary where we grew up to have some kind of vegetable stew and just adding either an omelette on the top or a little bit of a sausage. Now for the leftover celery I am going to chop it up and put it in the refrigerator. I'm going to use this up in a tuna salad. Yes. Soaking the dishes with some baking soda will eliminate any scrubbing. The first loaf of bread is done. 
Measuring out the next gluten-free bread, the recipe is up on my website. Lost again, going back around Dreaming of a time when I get things right Lost in the shadows of a million stars After having a lunch break, I'm continuing with the laundry One or two loads of laundry a day helps me to stay on top of it most of the time but now that I got backed up with all the laundry and then additionally as the boys and Joad is working outside on the tree remover I definitely have more laundry to do I like to water my plants in the kitchen sink it's a good way to wash off all the dust from the leaves and also the water gets everywhere where the roots are slicing up the bread so i can freeze them When I freeze them, I like to add some wax paper between the slices, which can be reused, but that way it's easier to grab one slice or as many as needed. Most part of the year we have cloudy days and the house seems a lot cleaner. Once the sun comes out, I see the dust I didn't see before. But also this wooden tone and the lighter furniture helps to not to see the dust as much. I had my dilemma if I should take out the candle from the room but if I do that then the power will go out so let's just keep it here let's just jinx it so <laughs> make sure the power stays on <laughs> going to reset this closet area as we go in and out to this wet and cold weather we started to pile up some clothes Being inside in this cold weather but having the sunshine it gives me this false feeling that spring is on the way. <laughs> it is definitely not but I really do enjoy the sunshine. sure you have noticed that we rearranged the house and I just wanted to put the couch very close to the fireplace so I think it's a perfect time to rearrange it that way I like the other way better when we have the dining area in that section but 
Since the fireplace is really enjoyable that way from the couch as we're sitting there, I really want to keep it that way for a little bit and then we'll see. We might go into put it back, we might go into just continue having this layout, but as of right now, I think it makes a lot of sense to have it that way. No, that you would be leaving me just like the winners know. Tell me I'm be honest, tell me should I know. We're gonna go to some grocery shopping before the icy rain is back. Okay guys, so this is the grocery haul. I got some beet that I started to eat. I got some butter lettuce, hand sanitizer that goes back into the car. I got some probiotic cashew yogurt. This is what I used today for the potato stew, but I like to use this for sweets as well when I bake. We got some oranges, lemons. So I'm going to ferment some of them in salt and the rest I'm going to slice it up and I'm going to add some honey. Ginger, lemon and honey. Picked up some amazing looking pumpkin. Is it a pumpkin? Squash? I don't know. I think it's closer to the pumpkin. It looks really orange so we picked this one up. It's even better if I put it out into the cold weather because if it gets uh, really cold, like to the freezing temperature, it makes it more sweet. And I got some chives and rosemary, shiitake mushroom, little mushrooms, enoki mushroom, sugar snap, peas, and we got garlic, dairy-free cheese. We got a bunch of these. These are chestnut that are already cooked and peeled. This is an amazing snack. When we are hungry, yeah, we ate a few on the way home. <laughs> Tangerines, but they are so small and itty bitty and very soft. It's, it's this small. I got some rice cake. I wanted to buy the other one, but they were out. Like the store was kind of going empty. I bought these shrimps for sushi, so that's something I just, I can put on the top. Pea greens, and it was a really good price. So it was organic and it was two dollars something. It's, it wasn't too bad. Usually it's more expensive, but each mart had it and they have a good price. Mushrooms, cabbage, ground turkey. I'm going to make some uh, dumplings out of this. King trumpet mushroom, bananas. I bought fennel and recently this is my favorite. I made some soup out of it the other day. I just added some chicken broth and it was a, such a great soup. So lately I really like the flavor of that one. So I'm thinking to make more soup with that. I grabbed the last parsley from the store. Oh, and we got a bunch of potatoes so I can make some stews and soups. Oh, we got some grapes. On the winter, I like to buy the smaller ones because they have a better chance to be more ripe than the big ones because these ripen faster. So on the winter, I only like to buy this kind except today I find something that it seemed very good looking <laughs> it says purple crush organic tomatoes so I cannot wait to cut these up and probably the inside is going to be beautiful they are kind of on the softer side so they should be probably ripe putting away the grocery and I have a few things that I want to take care of and I have to clean up the kitchen as well. It's the same story being told inside my head. I'm too shy to straighten up my voice and be a man. I, I gotta tear this wall up. I 
I bought a few avocados as well. The second loaf of bread will go into this bread box. It will be perfect in the morning. We created this shallow shelf unit just for the fruits. It has a very easy access. This silicone liner for my dehydrator and I really like this because it's flexible so it's easy to pour out things from it and also I can dehydrate eggs that way in my dehydrator but for now I'm going to just crush all the celery and I'm going to fill it into a jar and making some mess <laughs> I like to use these silica packages to keep all the dried herbs fresh. new day of homemaking i'm going to do some preparation for the tonight storm and that means i'm going to cook and i'm going to show you what i make out of the grocery that i bought yesterday washing all the vegetables with some baking soda sometimes i like to use salt either way it works really well today's soup i'm going to put a lots of mushrooms but the main reason i want to make this soup it's because of the fennel and besides the good flavor it supports the digestion as well i'm going to add some chives I have some more organic hot dogs that were sitting in the freezer so that's why I'm using up so many <laughs> and then also the mushrooms I'm not going to cut them instead of I'm going to just ripping them so that way I'm not going to waste the bottom part I'm also ripping some of the leftover cabbage leaves for a stir fry and I'm going to add some potato to the soup I fall, baby, I like the crunchiness of the fresh vegetables but also it's really hard on our digestive system so I'm going to blanch it and from the leftover fennel I'm going to make a tea so I'm going to just dehydrate and once it's dry I'm going to put it into a glass jar Hard. 
to the onion salad that I made yesterday I'm going to add some extra chives it's just going to make it even more delicious This avocado is less than ripe, but I'm really craving it. So I'm going in, I'm going to eat it, <laughs> and I'm going to try these tomatoes. And they look so beautiful, they look like a flower. This is Joad's favorite and I'm going to cut it up into little pieces because it gets baked faster that way. I'm going to use a little bit of a coconut sugar and just dip them in there and that's how I'm going to bake it on 400 Fahrenheit for 2 hours. Washing the parsley, which I have some plan with that for later, but now I'm just going to dry them a little bit before I start to work with that. I'm going to make a soup with turkey meatballs and I'm going to add a lot of vegetables to it and honestly I just pick and choose based on the color the more bright orange and red <laughs> that will go in there I have some dried mushroom powder and garlic powder onion powder chives and this will make it very colorful and tasty Besides the brown bath powder, I'm adding some olive oil. Any kind of oil or fat makes a soup more tasty. And I'm going to just use a tablespoon and I dip it into the hot water, scoop out the meat and just release it. And that will make a cute little ball in the soup. The rest of the meat will be fried. I have a few more things that I want to make and one of them is a fermented lemon the other one is when I slice up the lemon and the ginger and I adding some honey to it I soaked the ginger with the lemon in some water with baking soda and it softened up the skin so it's easier to peel creating layers with the ginger and lemon and then I'm going to just pour some honey over it it's great for coughing and for cold and it's delicious saving the peels of the lemons that I'm going to juice it's gonna be great for teas and for baking but to ferment the lemons with salt I'm going to use salt generously and put some salt at the bottom of the jar as well and I'm going to use the juice of the lemon and it has to be covered the lemon After a few hours I'm going to put that into the refrigerator and in a few weeks I can use it and the longer it sits there is the better and I like to serve it with sardines or whatever when we want to eat some pickles. Whatever it's left from the ginger I'm just going to grind it and freeze it. 
I take off all the leaves from the parsley and all the leftover stems. I'm just going to tie them together into a bouquet. This is gonna be great in soups and I can just put it in there and take it out after it's done because it's all tied together. I'm chopping up all the parsley leaves and I'm not going to divide them into sections or mixing them with oils. It's just easier to use and then uh, put it into the freezer just in one container and I just use uh, and I put it in there very loosely and once it's frozen I'm just going to use a fork to get the amount that I need. It's a very easy and fast way to freeze them and use them. <laughs> giving some good care for this cutting board. I use that a lot and I'm just using uh, either MCT oil or co fractionated coconut oil and they work really good. I know it's non-toxic and it's food grade and I always have this in my pantry. <laughs> The refrigerator is full and we are prepared for the icy rain that it's on the way. Thank you so much for watching until the end and if you enjoy this type of content I have a playlist up here for you. You can click on it and it will constantly playing all the homemaking contents that I created. And also here's another video for you. If you wanna check this out I will see you in there. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you soon. Bye!